So to get the messages working, the, the Django way, um, instead of doing what I did, let's have a look at my views. Uh, what I did here was uh, a quick fix. Uh, I put into context the message success and I put just some text there and you can you can do that. You can, you can then use your uh, Jinja to see, okay, if there is a message success, then create uh, an alert, which is a success alert and, and so on. But there is something that facilitates it as a bit better uh, in Django. So let's go here and from Django contrib, from Django.contrib, import messages. And that's what we are going to use for our messages from now on. And uh, in here, instead of message success, put into context, I'm going to say messages.success. And by the way, if you want to see what kind of messages you can get, let's go to Django, uh, Django messages. And let's go to the documentation. And in here you have the list of the of different messages. So debug is something that is just used for development. Then we have info, success, warning and error. You can use them the way you want, but obviously they are pretty descriptive. If it's a success, then you want to say success. If it's just information, info, uh, there are warnings and error. That's that's enough division to uh, to to make to make your messages clear. So in here, I want to say what I said in here. So upload file uploaded successfully let's put that in there let's lead that from here and i think i'm not using any context here in upload yeah so i can remove this and i can remove this oh apologies i can see here that i i should put request here as well pycharm is great it, it just highlighted this uh, bracket here and i was like okay there's something missing and indeed you need to put a request and then the message into the success or warning or or info Okay, so that's done. It's not gonna show straight away. So what we need to do is we need to create some sort of uh, HTML that can be used for, for showing those messages. So I'm gonna go to, uh, to templates and I'm gonna create a new folder called common. Something that will be uh, used across all the pages. A new HTML file called messages HTML. Um, sure, add it. Oh, we don't need this. And in here, what I want to do is I'm going to use the bootstrap alerts. Bootstrap alerts. And so I'm thinking I'm going to use this for info, this for success, this for error, and this for warning. Okay. So here are all of the messages. I'm going to copy all of them for now. Uh, and I assume they're all following this. Okay, so this first one is primary, called primary, and the second one is called secondary, and then we have success, danger, and warning. So danger is error, okay? Oh, info is this color. I don't like this color, I prefer this one. Okay, so let's go back here, and I'm gonna just paste it here and just choose the ones that I want to keep. So you're gone, uh, success is staying, danger is staying, warning is staying, and oops, you're staying and we have all the alerts here and now i want to do this if messages and let's close that if and if okay and now for message in messages let's close that for oops and no for and for we want to put, and I suppose we could do something like this for now. Let me just copy this and put that in here. Okay. And instead of uh, doing one by one, we could just say, hey, give me in here message.tags. And in here, I want to just put message. Okay. These I will just comment out for the moment. Okay, so now that we have our messages, I'll go to the base and on top of the content, I think that would be the best place. Uh, where is our content? Uh, blog content, okay. Just above here, I'm going to include uh, from common messages. Okay, I want to include those so then we can, we can see them every time, everywhere we go. Uh, they get loaded. And if there are no messages, then it doesn't show anything. If there are any some messages, then it's going to show something. Okay, let's go back to our page. And let's try to load. And by the way, uh, the choose file <laughs> works now. I don't know why it didn't. Uh, I had to re uh, reboot my computer. 2014. 
Cool. Okay, so we have our message here, file uploaded successfully. But let's test it out. Let's go, let's say, to um, to charts or upload. No, upload is here. So let's go to table. Okay, table is my guy. I'm going to do messages dot uh, success we saw. So let's put success, request, and test. Uh, let's do four of them. So then we want to do info. We want to do warning and we want to do um, error. And let's see if it works with bootstrap the way I want it to work. So let's refresh and go to the table. And so we, what we get here is not exactly what we want. This is not primary. This is info. So it works. Warning works. But this is uh, instead of error, it should give danger. Because if you go to the uh, bootstrap here, it says, hey, it, it's supposed to be danger instead of uh, error. So let's go here and just do some if else statements. So if message tags is info, then that should be info. Um, elif message tags is error, then this should be danger. And else we want it to be message tags. And in here, we're gonna end if. It's kind of clumsy here. Uh, I suppose we can break it here. So it looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, let me see if it works. So let's refresh our table. And it doesn't. So if message tags is info, then I want it. Oh, sorry. So that should be primary. Primary. And then if it's error, then make it danger. And if it's else, then just put whatever is in tags. Okay, so this one is info and I like it better, uh, but this one doesn't work. And let me see, open uh, this here and let's see what do we get in here. All right, so we are, yeah, that shouldn't be broken here, unfortunately. So what if I break it here? And now, check, now, now it works, okay. so. Right, it's important where you break lines uh, in HTML. Now it works fine, okay. So we get all of the alerts the right way. Now I'm gonna just uh, remove all of this from here. And in here, we don't need our tests anymore. Okay, so one last thing. Um, when you're using redirection, and by the way, we don't have air pollution view anymore, so we need to fix that. So let's go to upload, for example, upload. Um, and we created those um, views here that were supposed to add uh, colors to our pollutants, just a temporary view. So let's try it out. Let's go to air pollution slash temp add colors to pollutants. And it did something. It redirected us to upload, but we don't know what exactly happened there. So we can do something like this. Um, when we are finished, I just want to say um, messages dot success. And in here we pass request and a message saying colors added successfully. Okay, and let's try that out. So let's go back and go to our temp add colors to pollutants again. Sorry, trailing slash and colors added successfully. Cool. So we could also do something like this. Um, let's try that. Uh, if something doesn't go right, um, and I'll do something that is frowned upon. So I'll just do accept exception. Uh, it's very broad, um, but then at least you get uh, you get every exception that happens there. And then we can say uh, messages dot error request, and we gonna we're gonna pass e in there. Uh, let's do something crazy here. Let's do print a which doesn't exist and it's going to tell us that something went wrong so let's refresh uh will it, yeah okay it works so again let's go and do temp temp slash oh trailing po again so we got two messages for some reason so one time it did work oh, okay so we got to this point uh so we shouldn't really uh, have that in here. So, okay, I think we need to keep this here. Copy and... Okay, sorry. <laughs> Let's just put that print A 
above the message success because it adds that uh, message and then you know it doesn't make sense it, it goes to here and also adds the error message okay let's refresh the boom and go to temp colors and name a is not defined so cool so we get some message back uh, using this but so if we get rid of the error here um let's take okay refresh Sorry, so we need to go to temp air pollution add colors. Colors added successfully. Okay, so everything went well, no errors. So message has been logged and then we redirect to upload and it's working. Okay, cool. So I think it's enough about the messages. We can continue with the tutorial. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.